Hey everyone, it's Rob with Gold Standard here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the new Copilot in Teams. Copilot in Teams is your new AI assistant that can help you before, during, and after a meeting. It can take notes for you, answer questions about the meeting, be multilingual, and so much more. So let's go ahead and get started. Copilot in Teams works both on the new and classic Teams client. Besides having a Copilot license, the only other prerequisite is transcription. You need to have transcription on in your meeting and recording. Copilot in Teams uses this as the basis of all its responses. It won't work without it. And always tell others that you're recording the transcription before the meeting actually starts. Next, just join the meeting like you normally would. Now that we're in the meeting, in the meeting window, you'll find the Copilot button. It's located right in the top menu bar here. It's close to the mute button, which nobody can ever find, right? Ha ha. But uh, go ahead and click Copilot. And this is where it's going to ask you to initiate the transcription. And remember to always ask everyone before recording the transcription. So click that. Once the transcription starts, then let the meeting happen. Give Copilot a chance to listen in. After the meeting is done, go back to the Teams meeting chat. In the meeting chat, you're going to see the transcript and attendance pops up after the meeting's concluded. It takes a few minutes, but look for the view recap button that appears above attendance afterwards and click on that. And that brings up the recap screen here. And our next step is to click Copilot. That brings up the Copilot meeting chat. Copilot has a few guiding tenets it wants to remind you of when you open up Copilot meeting chat. It gives you examples of how you can use it. it reminds you that this is new technology. It's exciting, but you should always check the facts. And then lastly, it's your Copilot. This one's really important. This conversation with Copilot can't be seen by others in the meeting. It's your conversation. Don't confuse this with the Teams meeting chat. So just like a lot of my previous videos, I'm going to recommend that you start your first experience on Rails. Um, and that's by using the more prompts feature here at the bottom. The most popular feature right off the bat is going to be recap the meeting. As you read through these, though, you could see that these are definitely derived from those that take meeting minutes every day. Um, so let's see our first example here. Um, this meeting is actually a fun water cooler chat between me and my colleagues. We're just talking about football, our fantasy football teams, you know, stuff that you'd really be interested in learning. And here's our first recap. This was a 25 minute conversation between the three of us. Uh, naturally, we talked about you know, who was going to go to the Super Bowl We're at the mid midway point of the season. Uh, we talked about our fantasy football league, where we sit in the league, even captured that I uh, have a surplus of running backs right now. We talked about our trade needs and the deadline that's coming up, and it actually reminded us that we needed to go and figure out when that deadline is. But you could see that out of that 25-minute conversation, it summed it up in four bullet points into context that we can understand. And the conversation doesn't end there. Uh, Copilot's naturally going to list a couple more prompts afterwards. So let's continue to have a conversation with Copilot. What were the key action items out of here? And we have our action items and we have everyone that was in the call too. It has their name there. You know, it doesn't say that there is an action item. It associates what it is and who it's assigned to as well. Let's go off rails for a second and use our own prompt. Um, I like things into tables, including action items. Let's do that. Now our action items are in a table format. Okay, so now I want Copilot to create an email for me with that recap and the action items and I want it addressed to my colleagues. So I'm going to put my prompt into Copilot here and let's see what happens. And there we go. Off a few prompts, I have now a recap and the action items addressed to my colleagues in an email format. And I can come up here and click the copy button and address an email to them. It's that easy. Here's another really cool feature. Copilot is multilingual. So after I ask Copilot to recap the meeting, say if my first language isn't English, maybe it's Spanish, I can ask Copilot to provide the recap in Spanish. Check this out. Here's 
Here are a few other of my favorite prompts. What is the overall sentiment of the meeting? Could help you understand if, uh, you know, what attitude people came to the meeting with, or if there was a general amount of uh, excitement, if it was casual, business facing, you name it. Another one of my favorite prompts is, what were the pros and cons of the key topics? Because in a recap, it's usually accumulation of decisions that were made. Maybe we wanna understand how we came to those decisions and understanding the pros and cons is a great way of doing that. Here's another useful prompt. What were the names mentioned? So in this scenario, we're talking about trade proposals. I do want to capture all of the names that were mentioned in the last 25 minutes so I can go back and start to propose some trades to my colleagues. So let's go ahead and click that. We've talked about post-meeting recaps mostly, but Copilot works for you during a meeting as well. Here's an example. Say you have an all-day meeting and you have nothing but conflicts in the morning, but you know you can attend the meeting in the afternoon and catch the back half of it. If Copilot's on from the get-go, you could come back to the meeting at noon and click the Copilot button. And if you come down to more prompts down here, you can recap the meeting so far. That allows you to get up to speed of what's been covered already and be fully attentive for the afternoon half. There's a ton of different ways and prompts that you can use this, but I'll leave you with one of my favorites. If you go to more prompts and select what questions are unresolved, I love that one. Um, that doesn't necessarily come out in a recap or action items, but those are some of those big questions that, you know, our parking lot questions we got to save for the next meeting. So always a good idea to capture those. So I'll go ahead and click this one and leave with you with the results. But thanks again for watching this video and subscribing to Gold Standard. Have a good one.